Okay. Hey, everybody. Is this thing on? Are we using this mic? Which mic are we? It doesn't matter. I got two mics on me. Hi, me and McVicker love you, G. Yo. Good luck with chat. I Hello. hope he knows all of the workings Dancing, of the thank Enic you very courses. much uh, for the... How many months is that from you? 14 months on a tier two sub. Dude, you're wasting your money, but I appreciate it. Thank you. We got we got a whole lot of first time chatters here. Pepsi Corp under Don Sushi. Thank you very much. Today, special fun time. We're here with the Anacrusis developers, aka Stray. Me and make Vicker love you, G. Oh, no chat time, Pogas. Retrograde burn, 43 months on a tier one sub. Thank you very much. No, I did not get a Series X. We are playing on the PC. So Chet has been um <laughs> Please uh, stop following. Thank you for the follow. Chet has been an acquaintance of mine for a couple of years. Me and Mick Vicker love you, G. Oh, Rip villain. Benny Harvey, miss you, big man. Thank you very much. Uh, RIP Benny Harvey, we miss you, big man. 22 months on Prime. Thank you very much. Yeah, Chet and I have known each other since he asked me to find a uh, fresh crab for his niece in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, we're going to be Wait, playing. He asked for fresh, fresh crab? It's a long story. So we're going to be playing okay. the Anacrusis on the computer. This game is coming out into early access or whatever Game Pass ends up calling. Like, what is it? Preview build or something? Game preview. Game preview. Game preview. Uh, it's going to be coming oh, wait, out. Wait, wait, let, me, let me stop and, and respond to some people in chat first. No, come oh. on. Come on, Tyler. Let's keep the conversation going. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So today we are going to be playing through as much of the Anacrusis as we can within the time limit that we are given. Uh, about 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we are joined by uh, Mr. Dorian. Dorian is a level designer who formerly worked at id Software and now is working under Chet on the Anacrusis. Not that Will Smith, who is not the Fresh Prince. Uh, Please stop following. You probably know him if you followed the Half-Life Alex hype through Adam Savage's Tested. Um, and, uh, no, wait. Sorry. That's wrong. Um, right. Yeah. Never mind. And then you've also got Chet Falasek. Uh, Chet Falasek uh, is a he's, a... he's a... He's a guy as old as my mom who's uh, making a video game about uh, aliens that poop out goo. Chet, how I'm going to start today? the game, Tyler. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this has been a long time coming. Uh, I've been playing this game for about a month behind the scenes on and off. We have a... Um, we have a video talking about the Anacrusis that went up last month. However, um, we're going to be making some new ones because the final months, final weeks of game development before you put out a build to the public or the or they, the, ch the game can completely change form. So, um, hi, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me today. Super cool of you to, to take some time out of your busy schedule to play with this, play this game with us. So, um, so why don't you introduce what we're playing? What, what are we what are we about to see here? It doesn't work that way. But if we just flew over there, huh? Something might happen. Nothing, nothing. Please stop following. So we're trapped here? For now? Yes. Sorry. No, no one's muted. They, they can hear. They can hear no, 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 you. No, no, no. We were waiting. Yeah. Letting the, the, the story expose itself. Yes, yeah. I, I so, this position has to happen. No, it's not that you can't hear them. They didn't say anything because um, the beginning of every chapter shows you a little uh, 70s, 16 millimeter film looking thing uh, where. What did TV um, look like back then, man? Yeah. Four by three. Excuse me. Round I, edges. I was born Please in stop 97. following. Television has always looked really good to me. Um, 97? Really? Yeah, I was born in 97. February. Oh, man. Um, so, Chet, if you could just give us a little bit of a rundown on who we are, what we're doing, and what we're looking at here. Sure. So, um, aliens have invaded the story. We are far, far, far from Earth. We are in the deep reaches of space from Earth. Mm. Uh, and far, far in the future. And uh, we were uh, thinking, chucking along, thinking life's good. There's no, there's no war going on, nothing happening because there's no um, limited resources. We're just going through space, and then all of a sudden, um, we get attacked by aliens, Oof. and we, they take over. Stop they start taking over the ships, and so um, there's this character Boris that we don't get to meet yet, um, who collects kind of the survivors up and says, "Hey, we can hide out on this barge, but what we really need to do is we need to go back onto the ice load, and um, go look." For get some data so that we can go look for other survivors. We need to know where the last known location of survivors were. Mm. That's what we are going to do today. We got to find I'm our fan, I'm a fan of characters not being like the captain or the person who's going to save the world, but instead just kind of regular people hanging out, doing their thing. And that is what these characters are. 
Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. So, you know, we get it we get a we get to see all of that. So, in them. this starting room, we have a couple of weapon spawners here. Um the weapon set is is a smaller uh, group of weapons specifically for balance. Is that correct? Uh, it really just this kind of the starting set of weapons we want to go with, and you'll see the perks really influence the weapons and kind of change them as well. Speaking of which, we're about to come up on a question mark on a pedestal. Um, Mr. Smith, could you explain uh, what this pedestal question mark is? Uh, so this is a matter compiler, Tyler. Uh, it's uh, the way we distribute perks in the game. Perks are kind of a, they're not exactly, it's not exactly a roguelike or a roguelite, um, but but it's we have elements of that where we uh, give people choice between different uh, upgrades each run. We'll find multiples of these through the levels and you know basically lets us change the way we play so that even though we have like three main weapons and then four more additional weapons that are specials and for kind of limited use, uh, this gives you a lot of different ways to play, so we can add different powers and abilities to the base weapons with perks throughout the game, and, and really change the way you play each time. So for my first Renee. perk, I can pick between SMB tracking rounds. Me and make quicker, Thank you, you very much. Thanks Game for the awesome nine, content you've made throughout the years. 25 months on tier years. one, 22 months streak. Thank you very much. So I have SMB tracking rounds, pulse amplifier, and healing goo. I'm gonna go for healing goo. Okay. Deploying goo healing grenades great. grants temporary health to nearby players. So I effectively am falling into a uh, like a medic. You're here. You're, you're gonna be our emergency healer with that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Here is a goo grenade up here if you wanna. You know, you, there's nothing to heal yet. Oh, I just there's a stasis grenade. I'm sorry. All right, that's okay. That's okay. You don't. There's nothing to heal. Where? Tyler Chet's just saying you need to get good. I need to get good. Good. Oh. Like the cheese. <laughs> you are gonna keep trying that 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 joke, Look, Will. I'm gonna make it happen. All right, Between I picked that up the goo grenade perfect. and I dropped a. St if I pick up, oh wait, if I pick up a grenade, does it destroy the other grenade I had? Or does it just it drops the old one. Oh, okay. Magic compiler. So I, is... I think I picked that. I think I picked up the stasis grenade. Oh okay. All right. Yeah. Magic compiler. So there here. is a ping magic system. Over here. Oh, okay, so we have another perk over here. Thank you, uh, Chet. Ooh. These are random where they show up. Um, sometimes they don't show up. Uh, sometimes you only get one this level. Seriously, sometimes please get, stop uh, supporting more. Mac Thicker. This time we Tyler, get, uh, for the love of future foul or the viewers, the very beginning, of, the, very beginning of each episode is Hard this is the director kind of feeling you out, seeing how good happens. you are, what you can handle, and um, yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Falasek, real quick. My uh, audience is telling me my alerts are too loud, so let me just turn those down real quick. Uh... So, uh, Dorian, you haven't uh, had the opportunity to say too much. Could you just could you give I a little bit of an introduction of, uh, of who you are and what you've done on this project? I'm a primarily level designer on the team. I've blocked out most of the levels and did a lot of the gameplay actors and mostly just a lot of whining and complaining until, until Chet gives me what I want, but that's, that's pretty much it. What you doing, Tyler? You coming? You coming? I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta quickly change <laughs> a few settings here. Um, uh, Dor Dorian's underselling it. Dorian's actually really technical for a level designer, so it's just not the layout, but he's done a lot of the blueprint hooking up and the scripting and some stuff like that. That's been really great. Figuring out now. some of the holdouts and... For yeah. those that might be unaware of, uh, like, the different skill sets and the expectations of those, why would a technically-minded level designer be a surprise? They're not level designers often. Oh, not often, but can be that. You'll see that some go more on the art side, exactly. some go more on the uh, more technical side. And Dorian definitely falls on the more technical side. I'm um, sorry. I'm just kind of I'm admiring the view here. This is actually a really nice looking whatever. Like it, it's just a corridor, but something about this is really. Huh. Please stop following. Okay. Our past, the art, art direction and pass were really nicely done. So chapters one through three are the art passes finalized? Mostly, I think we've got some tuning we're gonna do along the way. Um, but these are these are like the first thing that we wanted to have that we're like, okay, these are playable. These get people to understand what we're trying to do. They have three different kinds of ways they play out. Mm -hmm. well, taking care of that really quick. Each of them was a little different, right? Like some have longer levels, some have shorter levels. Um, yeah, we, we're trying a bunch of different stuff to see what the audience likes, the players yeah, like. There was, there, there was a spawner back here that I killed go, very quickly. Go. 
There's a brute. I think there's a gooper. Yeah, there's a brute right there. Brutes! Oh, you picked up a stasis. Use it. I did. Nicely done. Nicely done. So there are a lot um, of things that, that, that truly do set this experience apart from, I wouldn't say competitors, but uh, colleagues in the industry trying to, to work within this space. Uh, question I'm seeing a lot in the chat from uh, a more cynical group of viewers would be, okay, why should I care what sets this apart in your mind? from, There's say, a Back for Blood or a Left for Dead. You know, um, it's always weird when, you know, you talk to people and you say, hey, we're going to make a four-player co-op game, and they act like they're all the same. I think this space has a lot of variety. I mean, take a look at, like, something like GTFO, where it is hardcore stealth games. <laughs> for us, we wanted to have fun in this world. We wanted it to be bright. We want it to be funny. We want it to be this something way. that people want to live in and have fun with. Um, and then for us, it's building that base out. And so we wanted to do sci-fi because sci-fi gives us just a lot more leeway with the crazy grenades and weapons. And then open it up to the community. So, you know, we've been working with modders already and being able to have them have an influence on things. And we've already been playing some community maps. Um, and, you know, it's like just getting that base up and going and letting people start living in that space and uh, influencing it. You know, the other thing is also just how... I don't care about other games. I care about ours. Mm -hmm. And we were just very deliberate about how we chose to come out in early access and kind of we can we can still have enough of the here. game as we're going to be updating this for years with more maps, more creatures, more guns, more everything. Mm -hmm. But doing that first with as little as possible as we could so that we can start getting okay. really meaningful feedback from the community and really changing the game based on their feedback. Not just us sitting, you know, in our offices trying to figure out and guessing what people want. Mm -hmm. I don't like these dark areas. We, we, we called this first season Season Zero for a reason, Ooh, Tyler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's three chapters. Um, what is it, like six weapons? Um, seven, I believe. Seven weapons. Um, special infected, you've got the bruiser, the flasher, the spawner, the grabber. Is that, am I missing one? The spawner turrets, the eggs. Oh, the eggs, uh, right, yeah. And then there's a very there's there's some other surprises. I mean, we don't want to... Sure, sure. There's some, there's some low percentage stuff that happens. Um, and, uh, Will, could you explain exactly what seasons are going to be for a game such as this? Because that well, piques some people's it, interest. I mean, this is, this, is, uh, this is one of Chet's ideas, uh, so I, I feel like he should probably take this. But, okay. I mean, the... The, the short version is, you know, it's, uh, we, we're we making, you know, the, the, the framing for this is that it's a, it's like a TV show, a 60s or 70s sci-fi TV show mm -hmm. where they're deadly serious. It's really campy to us now, but at the time they were making it, they were deadly serious, even though it, it, it feels really funny in the, in the context of our time, modern science fiction. So, you know, with a TV show, you have series, you don't have, you don't have movies in a franchise, you have multiple mm -hmm. seasons and we're... Uh, looking at building additional seasons uh, as we continue to build out the game. And those you know, new stories, new people. Oh, okay. Oh, new people. Really? Oh yeah, we will Please be we will be adding me. people. But you know, that was one of the things that to, to, to touch on what Will said is, you know, originally with Left for Dead, Gabe's just like, why zombies? Zombies are campy. We shouldn't do zombies. Let's do something else. And I'm like, no, no, zombies are cool, man. They they've been played campy, but what if you play oh, them straight? Sure. Please stop following. Uh, and that's just, I think, a big different way of looking at the same material, but in a different way. Brute really hates me, chat. Um, oh, I, th I think we forgot the flasher or two in there. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. As I'm, I'm looking at him right now and thinking, huh? This way. Um, so I'm I'm good up. I can't move. Yeah, we're, we're dealing with something back here, but we'll get to you in a minute. So... While I'm sitting here stuck, how does the difficulty scale to the player, if at all? Well, that's kind of the, the big thing is you we wanted to test following. this. So you can't do minor tests and really get a lot of information. You got to do big, broad yeah. tests. And so to do that, um, we have no difficulty setting. It's because the game will adjust to you and it's learning us right now and what we can handle. And then it'll adjust the play to us. And it doesn't cheat. It's not going to like rubber band. Um, it doesn't increase the damage the aliens do or the, the decrease the damage you take or anything like that. It's um, 
It, it's, it, it just decreases spawns, decreases spawns, changes the amount of Please stop items in the world. And, yeah. But you can do interesting things like if you're really good, um, you don't need to find health on the path all the time. You can find it off the path and make you stay in the level longer. Or have, if you're really good, spawns can come from behind. And like, there's different ways to make the game harder oh. than just more aliens. Because more aliens will just get fatiguing. So we need to mix it up in a lot of different ways. There's well, health. and then but the the other part of it, though, is that we wanted to build a game that was social, where people could hang out and have fun with their friends. And like that was a place that we wanted to spend time inhabiting, right? Mm -hmm. it, that's that's important for this kind of game, we feel. And so the, the director also builds in downtime. Like right now, we're in a quiet moment. We just had a big fight. We had a little horde. We had a, a couple of brutes. We had some stuff to deal with. And now it's saying, OK, take a minute, kind of recover, reload your guns, maybe heal up. And we'll hit you again, just when you think it's safe. <laughs> right as you said that. that was I couldn't crazy. have timed that one better, Tyler. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, I mean no disrespect, but I am gonna read some of the more heinous comments that are coming in because I feel like if you just kind of take those on head on, oh, you'll well, be able to educate. Tyler's dead. Whatever. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, but somebody said uh, something really. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, juvenile. Tyler, Tyler, you can you can come inside here. You don't need to. We don't need to kill yeah. everything to oh, survive. Oh, right, right, right. That's the end of the level. Sorry. 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 So, so, somebody, so what is the door again? What is the question? Yeah. So, um, is this gonna get me banned from Twitch, Tyler? So no. That gay Goron said right. this game yes. seems to be lacking a ton of polish. So, well, this game is in I, early I, access. I, I guess, well, yeah, first, what, what polish is it missing? I mean, it is early access, and that's for sure, and we're still working on a bunch of stuff. I mean, that's why we're doing early access, because to see where we should be investing our time. So, feel free to let us know. Um, so, I guess, um, just to enunciate it uh, succinctly so that everybody understands, this game is being put into early access with a small amount of playable, up-to-snuff content to learn what works and what doesn't work so that the developers don't spend a significant amount of time on stuff nobody even wants. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, yeah, partially it's we're a very small team, so we kind of need to make sure we're making the right stuff. And so we wanted to do it this way where we bring it out and players can give us feedback on it and say, you know, for some people, early access may not be the thing. That might not be what clicks with them and they don't want to join there. That's cool, man, I get it. Some games I do that as well, but for people who want to, you know, who like these kind of games and want to give feedback, uh, come join us. Well, but I mean, the other thing, the other thing is, is quite frankly, like the, like you said, a small amount of content. We've seen streamers usually taking five, five or six hours to get through the three campaigns that are available on their first playthroughs mm -hmm. right now. Uh, and, you know, the game changes every time you play it. So, you know, you, you get a horde here you know, five, five times out of ten, six times out of ten. Oh, I don't need grenades, that's bad. Let me laser this guy. Um, but it is it's a, designed to be a very replayable game, even more so than something like Left 4 Dead or or, or other games that you're familiar with. So, um, we like to think, you know, we have we have, we have two types of things that we, we are concerned about. Things that are broken and janky, but then there's also stuff that's kind of lovable and janky that we that we you know think adds to the aesthetic of the of the of the game in a lot of cases. Moving on, uh, any plans for local co-op or split screen on console? I uh, know we uh, won't probably be doing... not. Yeah, it's it's technically challenging, and we're on platforms that make it difficult. Hmm. Yeah, and we also I could tell you the numbers on Left 4 Dead. Um, and there's a reason why I don't think Valve, you know, did more of that. Um, it's just really low numbers. And you always want to, and you see, while you always want to support what people want to do, you also want to make sure you're supporting what most people want to do in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make the investments to have the online experience be really good for everybody. How many people it, are on the it, team? It's we about 20. Right yeah. Okay. Be boring. Um, so, like, just to be clear, like, 
larger we uh, ub had as many people as many studios that worked on was it i think far cry 6 as we had people build the vast majority of this game yeah mm. yeah like it's it's a there are it's a we're 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 in the magnitude yeah, yeah. yeah. this is a this is a, a like a double a thing I, I mean I, I in my heart baby what? i would say we like to punch above our weight Sure, that's fine. We like to make smart decisions and use our resources wisely. What difficulty are we playing on right now? There is no difficulty. It, it scales based on player ability. Oh, that is all my. So if you guys missed it, there there is a uh, there is a medic compiler back here. Back here, I thought I heard one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right. Why Unreal Engine? It's if you're making a first person shooter that is networked and it's going to have dedicated servers, it's the clear choice. Okay. Quick health boost. Please stop um, following. Thank you for the follows. Yeah, a lot of people. Thank you for the follows, guys. Sorry, I can't call them all out. Uh, but, 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 will there be an option to disable bodies disappearing? Please stop oh, following. This is some serious damage. You mean, uh, um, the, the ragdoll please disappearing stop following. after a while? I mean, that becomes a memory constraint issue and a performance issue. Um, I guess I guess we've never... That's like a good thing of like, we've never had anybody ask for that. <laughs> Please stop following. Like, we, we don't have them melt while you see them. Like, they don't go away when they're on screen. And yeah. On the series and... and uh, yeah, but that's, like, that's, the, that's the kind of great thing of like, when you haven't gotten a chance to play yet, like there's a set of questions that you just wonder because of how other people have chosen to do things versus oh here's what it is and this is what it feels like i mean it's just simply out of the thousands of people that we've had play test the game i don't think anyone's ever given us the feedback that they wish the bodies were on the screen longer well, i just backtracked all the way down the, the last hall and <laughs> like, they, they were still mostly there i got to the end and they were gone so chat here's a question that you probably get all the time you just, let's get this information out there versus about mode my, about, question mark? about my beer about my beard or my hair Oh yeah, about your how's your beard? How's your how's the health of your hair going? I had, I had to trim it down because uh, COVID masks, you know. It's but you, you did that at home though, right? Yeah, good, did not good. Good. Okay. yeah. yeah. Um, versus mode, we are not starting with versus mode. Um, we are starting first with co-op play so that we can make that the best experience and make sure that the the enemies that we're choosing are the best ones for PVE. And then as we look at PVP. We can make other decisions based on that. I mean, it's actually the same thing we do with Left 4 Dead 1. There was a point of Left 4 Dead 1's development where we removed Versus entirely. Oh, really? Uh, okay. There's Arc Rifle here. Yeah, because it's really hard to balance Versus because oh, a really good team or a really bad team just influences that greatly. And so we want to be able to focus on that. I love Versus mode, so I mean, that is something I really am looking forward to in the future, but for right now, our focus is entirely on the PvE experience. So, it's not a no, it's just later. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I mean really access, this, right? not everything's in the game. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's another one of those things where we have to use resources wisely, and like, there's a lot of foundational work that has to go in before we have the tool set to do versus, right? It's just, it's just, well, you know, well, I don't... There's, oh, go well, ahead, there's there's, there's that, I and mean, we also want to make sure we're doing that with the community, that in particular. As somebody who worked on scavenge mode, who played scavenge mode every single day during its development, who had, you know, just rough, just grudge matches between uh, internal developers and thinking that it was going to sweep the world and then having it come out and having nobody play it. Mm -hmm. uh, you learned some lessons, man. For, for what it's worth, chat, when I came up to play Left 4 Dead, I really enjoyed scavenge mode when we played with you guys. It was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, I was I was disappointed that people didn't play it. I just bought a copy of Left 4 Dead that advertises scavenge mode on the box. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tyler, there's a med uh, uh, health scanner over here. Uh, Marketing! As well. yeah. I've never seen a, a copy of it that markets that on directly on the box. I had to get it. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Yay, they gave humans way more advantages in Left 4 Dead versus really shouldn't need zoomed 
zone mod and other custom games to have a fun competitive environment yeah so help boost to help um boost to help boost to as a person that's heard a lot help boost to directly help from boost to okay 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 okay, okay 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 as a person who's spoken that's a lot with the competitive uh, uh left for dead versus communities uh yeah it seems like being able to develop the game from a co-op perspective first and then down the road when things are in a you know a healthy state moving on you know also it's well, early we'll just, access we'll, yeah well also you, you have a good understanding then of the specials and how you think of them and like is it fun to play the spawner if you have to go hide in the corner and go drop stuff off and never engage or is it super fun to be the flasher and run ahead and cause the chaos no well, i think i think we worth talking about is we we want to release future episodes and we're not going to charge for those. Those are going to be completely free. Unless Microsoft forces yeah. you like Left 4 Dead, right? <laughs> no, no. Let's, let's, let's be really clear. Everybody is bought on, and we've said from day one how we're doing this and what this is looking like. There'll be no DLC. There'll be no sure, addition. Sure. Everybody, no, because it's no, no, no. Let's not joke around. Is it's no, cross plat? Yeah. It's cross platform. Okay. Everybody on all of those platforms will always be able to play all of the maps with everybody. I apologize yeah, we did. for the joke. I just felt like you know. So, all of the content coming out. I mean, yeah. lesson learned again. Yeah. Part part of that too is we didn't want to fracture the community. Like, yeah. So yeah. We should absolutely. Like, any it, content that comes out post launch is just an ready. update, get back. like a TF2 update. It's just there in the game. Yes. Okay. Correct. Yes. Here we go. Dance party. Cooper. Go, go, go. Who shot Lance? No, his name's Dylan. Wait, we got a we got a brute here. If you guys want to help, turn around, Dorian. We got the brute. Oh, the brute. You got another one? Uh, I believe I killed the brute. Yeah, you killed it. Nice work. Congratulations. Next time, I'm gonna not shoot if you're gonna take all the credit. I'm okay. just saying the game the game lists who kills what. And yeah. my name. Look, we all dead. know we all know that last hits are bullshit, uh, Chet. So uh, yeah, we've all played enough Dota to understand that. I can't believe Even you are arguing up the wrong it. religion here, my friend. <laughs> okay, so the reason why the screen's going nuts is because of a special infected called the there Flasher. There we go, I got it. Okay. Oh, another one. God. I got grabbed. I got grabbed. Oh, God. You're doing great, Tyler. Thanks. Oh, there's another brute. Bad news. I carried the grabber. I'm down. I'll get. I'll get Tyler. Oh, I got tagged. Ooh, I got yeeted there. Oh, nice job. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna beat it for the for the exit. I think rather than burn a heal here. This will help. Well, I'm doing a temp. That seems good. So everything runs on the Xbox One uh, as well, Angry Moose. Base um, Xbox One? Ba uh, launch launch Xbox One. Okay. It, it looks a little bit different, but it, it runs. Cool. Will there be more unique weapons that are not SMG slash shotgun, but in space? Have you not seen me use the arc rifle, the laser rifle, the portable turret, the, the shield grenade, the, the goo grenade, the vortex grenade? Like, Come on. Yes. Well, I mean that that so that that's the thing about 70s sci-fi, right? Is that is that there's no basis in science for it. We can we can make a pocket black hole. Wow, that was a good grab. I'm going to die back here. So, like you are. Um we You should just go for the airlock. <laughs> there's a brute. Let's get out of here. Right. You leave me for dead. You we can't left, save me. We left him for uh for oh. uh not life. What's all right? He's dead. I'm going back to get him. That's a spawner. I think I'm gonna bleed out before you get to me. Yeah. Everybody all right. Never here. mind then. Let's go back in. Let's go back I had in. A good run. Let's go back in. Don't get grabbed, Chet. The other day, Chet got grabbed people. through this airlock. I'm behind people. Uh, launching at thirty bucks. Okay, not sixty people. This isn't sixty bucks. No. Enough. So all we need to do is uh, discount for six bucks. Stairs. Uh, it's Easy, discounted right? six bucks at launch, so twenty-four bucks at launch on Steam, Xbox, 
EGS, Microsoft Store, and it's launching on Game Pass on PC yeah. and Xbox as well. Yeah, it's on Game Pass, guys. And it's also $23. Will there be a workshop? Yes! Well, I mean, I don't know how they're going to end up doing it, but they've already been... Yeah, Chet, can you just say that stuff again about the mod? Because, yeah, I love that. So, well, one of the things we want to do differently about the mods is anybody who's ever played Left 4 Dead, like, there's a ton of mods, right? It's awesome. But you go find the weird Zoe mod where she's a cop, a and you put it on, and nobody else sees it. Only you see it. We want to make it where the mods that are made get uploaded to a dedicated server and everybody can see them. So they're replicated for everybody. Um, and so we'll be using the workshop, etc., as a way for players to submit mods for people to vote on them. And then we'll be able to then take those and incorporate them into the game so everybody can see them. And so that'll mean when you want to play a bunch of custom content maps, or there's a bunch of maps that you can select that are all on the dedicated server. Are those going to be available at launch? Oh, I'm grabbed. This is bad. No. Okay. This is real bad. We got three people dis... There we go. Thank you. Again, I'm going to... This... I know you don't like this, Will, but... No, 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 no. no. I, I got... I bought fire resistance for a reason. I want to use it. Um... Uh, I mean, the, so the, the, the one part of this is because of the cross-play nature of the game, Tyler, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the mods that show up and work on the console versions and the mainline PC Thank version you. will be curated by us. So, you know, we'll do a little bit of work and integrate with the game and, and uh, you know, th there will be a little bit of a process there. But we have people dedicated to it right now and um, are, are really excited. To, I mean, honestly, I'm excited to see what the community, we're all excited to see what the community Thank does. You with the okay. game okay but like when you say that there's going to be a bit of a process you're not going to turn down like teletubby mods or, here. or or like the mimi stuff right um we'll have to see how that goes right so yeah. it's about making that inflow so obviously there's some content that you never want to see in your game right sure. there, will, there is there is stuff people will make that you just never want to see in your game Right. We want to make sure that that stuff doesn't get up uploaded, but other than that, we want to be as free as we can be because Left 4 Dead makes me laugh in the custom content. Yeah, people are so creative, um, so great. Like um, we invited Splinks in already, who's somebody I've known and actually there. brought up the Valve as a intern, even though Valve doesn't do interns. Valve doesn't they do did. interns, guys. Um, they did there. Um, <laughs> but like, just like, we've already been bringing people in to get feedback and, Healing. you know, what tools do we need? What do they need so that they can build out stuff for us? And then how do we integrate that? And then we have a dedicated engineer just working on that problem. All right. Um, but yeah, it's going to be free on Game Pass day one. It's going to be, tw uh, you know, like 24 ish dollars on launch it's available on fucking everything. It's also crossplay, like literally. Ow. So when you say it's crossplay, it's if it runs on a console, it will play with anything else that runs the game, right? Yes, that is All correct. Right. All right. You use party codes to join in, and you know. So there's no same way we, where it's we, like, oh, only old gen can play together, and only new gen can. Play. No. it's everything. If no. you hit your escape key and look, the only difference if you're playing on a different platform is you'll have an Xbox logo or an EGS logo, where we have Steam logos. We are getting Probably. wrecked here. I don't think that I don't think the director likes all these questions, Tyler. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Sorry. Yeah, I haven't seen the director this angry in a while. That's just because he knows that I'm gonna try and get the. I'm secrets. healing. I don't know if this is a question that you're capable of answering, but we're you're launching with um three chapters and, and the amount of content that you're seeing now. How much content do you have in the barrel that players could expect to see within the first year? So the first season is five episodes. We have already played all five episodes. We've got gray box. And I think that's one of the things we want to see with the community of like, when do they want us to start sharing that? Mm -hmm. Like, do they want to play it in the gray box version? Do they want to wait till we have a first art pass? Uh, um, the answer to that question is, of course, they want to play the gray box version. Absolutely. Well, I did a Twitter poll, and that's what I thought would be the answer, too, and it ends up it's not. It was ah, after yeah. first art pass. Really? I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised. But people love I mean, beta. I'm Healing. telling you. Yeah, okay. So, so, you know, but we'll try that experiment. We'll try both and see, you know, what the people really like when they're actually playing it. Mm. 
Well, and also we can give out, you know, we can use the tools that are available to a modern game developer to give, you know, people access to, you know, public private betas and stuff like that if we want yeah. to. But there's a lot of options. Right. Someone want to help this? Hey, you're probably fine. I mean, I appreciate that someone slowed time on the random section of the world. But, I, look, uh, I, 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 oh, well, there's another one over there. There you go, Dorian. Wasted a stasis. I bet the idea of sharing blockouts is, from a level designer's perspective, is pretty cool. Never, I've never done that before. And that allows us to... When it's when it's in blockout, we can do a lot more radical changes based on what what everyone tells us. Oh, but once we get once we get art in there, it kind of limits what things we can do. This is an interesting question here. Can we change the position of the guns on screen, like left handed, middle handed, or right handed? No, not at this time. We, we have we have not had anyone ask for that one either. There you go. Is yeah. that a difficult proposition to make? I did something we've never thought of. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like they're all animated for one group. We're a small team. We can either spend animation doing that or making like, the common run cycle better. Like yeah. those are the those are the kind of the questions we need to look at. We need to move, guys. We've been yeah. We, we've been stuck here a long time. I mean, this is this is why using the perks to modify the weapons is interesting, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Right? Is because it means that we can get a lot of gun variation without having to spend as much time and energy generating new art. Okay. Am I going backwards? No, I'm not going. No, you're doing you're doing it right. Did anyone check downstairs? So many different colors. I didn't check the hole. All right. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. My, my chat has questions about the person who's middle-handed, also. Uh, me. Anywho. Okay. Um, why not use a card? Shut up. Uh, oh, by the way, Dorian, my audience would really love to know what you worked on before you joined Stray Bombay. Uh, Doom 2016 is probably the one most people yep. know. Yep. Rage. Do this. Uh, Brothers in Arms probably the most known titles from before it, something. Yeah. Oh, they're in they, arms. They they got they got they got Doom 2016. They got they got the Doom 2016 guy. You like Foundry? Well, get ready yeah, for Foundry by... too. <laughs> worked on Foundry, several other levels in the game. Yeah, I just wanted to yeah, let met... people know we got Let's cool guys. I met Dorian through uh, mutual friends. That he was over at uh, Amazon Game Studio. We had some mutual friends that said we should chat. And they were right. This was, that, was, that was before we were even um, starting this, up the studio. Oh, well, doesn't doesn't Kim Swift work at Amazon now? She used to. She oh, left okay. a while back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I worked with Kim. Yeah, Kim's cool. briefly. Kim recently discovered a shoebox of nothing here. but portal development content and had like jungle things under her bed. Nice. That's yeah. fun. Uh, if the game has a story, is it plans? As like, is the whole thing planned right now? There is the outline of it is definitely planned out, um, but me. definitely like... also. Uh, I'll use one example. So right now, all the creatures are named what you would yell if you saw them coming at you. There's a flasher. It's, it's flashing. It, they're the right. They're all, yes. and that's that's how you name things. Oops, the first time you see it, There's right? So I I like that naming for that. But what, after time, after you get to know them, what are you going to call them? Are you going to call them something different? I kind of want to listen to what what play what are players calling them? Like what what are their nicknames that they've grown over time and start incorporating that into the story. So the community uh, can affect the long term lore of the game. Yeah, I think one of the th awesome. really interesting things was in Love for Dead watching. You know, I'll, I'll say it again. I says players are really smart. Three, two, in Left 4 one, Dead, go. we put things out into the world and players kind of pieced together everything that we didn't say out loud. They figured out everything. And it was just super interesting to watch that process. And so I want to kind of really lean into that and make it a little bit more two ways. So I thought that was just fascinating. So I love the idea of how lore starts and kind of how those kind of things come from theory to fact to 
you're, you're, you're in trouble over there. I, I'm good. I got it. There's a couple dudes. I'm gonna help. Probably gonna catch on fire over there, just FYI. Oh no, they got Dorian. You're Dorian, I'm gonna... Thank you. Oh. What are you doing over there, Tyler? I'm good. This is where I've I wish dropped, I had the, the I've, never dropped the, I've, I've never dropped the turret just as uh, I dropped the stasis grenade. It's um, pretty good. That was that was just beating. One of the one of the streamers who was playing yesterday um, uh, threw a vortex into a stasis and was laughing so hard they almost wiped. He was so stoked about it. <laughs> Some MSIM elements going on. I'm going to switch guns. Don't get too far on your own, Tyler. I know, I know, I know. Sorry. Well, just because I would feel the need to, to try to rescue you, then. I mean, that would yeah. endanger me. It's that so. motherly instinct in you. It is, oh, it is very self-centered. There's a brute oh. behind you. Okay. It has nothing to do with you, Tyler. Oh, boo. Oh, no, no, nothing at all. It is entirely about my... Tyler, you have everything. so much to live for. Yeah. Thanks, Dorian. Who does the music? Charles. I'm down. Yeah, well, I'm you. super dead. I am all the way... Oh, I'm so number good. two, two for two. Got it. So much fun. Do you really find that flasher fun to play against? Game. That seems enough to make me want to close the game, personally. Um... I, I think it's a fantastic because it adds chaos in moments when we have have less chaos. Like it's 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 like the a grabber and a gooper by themselves are bad, but they're easy to deal with. The flasher just you know makes makes everything one layer more more complicated to to deal my with. Favorite, my favorite description was it's like it's like someone walking around with a flashbang. Yeah. Uh, you should not come get me. I am all the way at the bottom. Uh, I'm even. I think I'm even lower than you are. Oh wait, no, no you are down. at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. I'm... All right. Well, I'm dead. Dead. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm Tyler, let's let's bring you back to life when I get up there. Dorian, don't hit it yet, okay? Uh, yeah. Let's, let me, show, let let's show how the. Uh... Let, let's come up first, so I don't have to get killed. Whee! The yeah. flashers Artists have a problem flip. of their lack of counterplay. So that I see at least. Boomer flashes you if they explode it too close, but if you be careful, you won't get flashed. Um, I don't know. Thoughts? We are we we, we have been do, we've been doing a bad job at countering them. I mean, it's that simple. Yeah. Uh, typically, you can close in and kill them much quicker, and they're not that big of a nuisance. It's it's a thing you learn over time. That that's they, like the the average time they live on a for a, an experienced team is so low that it really is not an issue. But the thing is, like, what's happening, if you don't take care of them, they become chaotic and they add to the chaos of the game. And that's like a lot of things is one-on-one, -on -one, I can take a brute. I can die on my own, kill the brute. But boy, you start mixing in some commons, I think we're doing okay. it can go to hell really quickly and I'm gonna get owned. Order of operations becomes very important. Yeah. Maybe have sunglasses? Somebody like we're, suggested a sunglasses item. Cosmetic stunner shades. We talked about perks that are like that. Like if you aim down the sight, is following. your sight Thank you for the blocking follow. that or something, right? So it's like a welding yeah, we, welding mask. Welding mask, yeah. Um, There's a laser rifle and a turret over here. I'm gonna grab one of them probably. I will take the turret. I have that thing that gives me more ammo. So. Oh, oh you shoot! I grab the turret. Oh, I didn't okay. know you that. You are the turret right. man. Right. You can you can have the turrets from now on. Yep. So there is goo here. Right behind. And I know you're the goo guy. I am the goo guy. Tyler's got all the good perks today. There's a brute. Here's the brute. Oh, oh wow. They are all uh, Gooper behind, or I guess in front technically. But say I'm behind. He ain't behind. Well, he, I was. He was behind me when I turned around. Fair. So what is this area called? Like, what is this area? Park. Freedom. It's just a park. It's a park. But it's a spaceship. Oh, 
Well, sure, but it's a gigantic spaceship, right? That holds hundreds of thousands of people. So at some point, you can get some fancy housing. This is the fancy Got housing. Oh, so there's classism on, in space. I believe Lance talks to this. Yes. Yeah. Do we get to visit the space slums? Uh oh. This is a problem. What? What's a? Oh. I don't think we can get around them. Maybe we can. Okay. Somebody explain uh, what the issue is here. Is a matter compiler here. Oh, let's get the matter compiler first. Do the fun stuff and then deal with the eggs. Do not wake them. So this one's can... not a b b generation ship funny thing. This is just a, like a, a space city. There, yeah. there are some generation ships, though. Careful, right, Chet? Or them? maybe not generation ships, but long haul slow ships. So I think we can get around them. So these eggs, think the witch in Love for Dead. Um, mm -hmm. If you mess up, you they'll kill you. Can we but avoid them? They're not that hard to kill. Oh, yeah. we'll be able to, or, sure. okay, I thought we were going to go around them, but I see somebody throwing a, a canister and. Yeah, but, oh, well. Flash. I got the flasher. Get inside the shield if you can. I think I blowed him up. Nice job. Nice job, Dorian. I threw the can there just in case. Hey. I don't I don't know how I'm one? waking them because I wasn't moving, but I'll I'll own that one. So we what the thing with the eggs is um you know the witch you only have one way to kill it and that's crowning it with the shotgun. Here we wanted to give you a lot more tools when you have a lot more tools. So there's a lot of different ways that you can then Healing. counter those and deal with them. But equally, man, if you aren't paying attention and they come up on you and you're in the middle of already, you're gonna you're gonna be in some trouble. You don't ever want to get surprised by the eggs. Who lays the eggs? You're gonna have to find that one out. Oh, okay. You got you gotta buy the comic book for that one, Tyler. How do you pronounce this per- Galasek? Uh, it's Galasek. No, G-U-I-N-S. Wait, really? Gion. Gion? Gion? Are you talking about Gion's name? Who's Gion? It's his name all the time. He's the guy I'm playing. Oh. Gion, Gion Johnson Jr. Gion Johnson oh, Jr. I'm grabbed. What are the full um, names of everybody? Give us the full name. Um, I, I just so Guillaume is named after um the first African American in space was Guillaume um, Buford. Um, and he replaced um I think it was Lawrence Johnson. I not sh I don't remember the first name off the top of my head. Um, who was going to be the first African American in space, but instead he died in a test flight as he was a test pilot back in the day. And so a lot of the characters have, uh, their names are kind of associated with something through Castrian face. Uh, I've always been a big fan of space. And so, you know, it's one of those things, if you look and see who's in space today, oh, you'll see it's a pretty, pretty diverse group. Uh, there's a website, I think, called uh, Who's in Space Now? Who's in Space Now? Um, that, that'll tell you who everybody is in space. Ends up... It's not that many people at a time, like 12, 15 people. Yeah, I feel like that's a lot of people to be in space at any given moment. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I know, I guess. I was, watching, I was watching Gravity uh, last night, and, um, you know, there are definitely fewer people in space on that one. Well, living in Bro. space. The laser rifle in there. 12 to 15 people that we know of in space. Oh, that's true. And then there's that whole planet that's just run by um, robots. Mm -hmm. Are we in I want to believe territory here? Is that, is that what's happening? No. There's a, there's no, a, there's a no, planet. There's, a, there's two planets that are inhabited in our solar system. One is entirely run by robots, and the other is by humans. True. It's a science fact, I guess. It is a science yeah. fact. It's Look, like I, my understanding is that... The other worlds are ours, and uh, Europa we're supposed to leave alone. That's all I know. Oh, that grabber made a bad jump. Uh, any possibility of a hook shot being added in the future? That one's dead. Like from Zelda? Like a grappling hook of some kind, yeah. 
I, I think in basketball, cool. having them play basketball oh. and doing some like cool a, like shots, some dunks. Like it. Um, oh, man, I yes would yes love that. I'd like, be our versus. I love basketball. Yeah, look, a, a grappling hook power up for the versus mode would be dope. That sounds really cool. Will there be day-night variants of each level? Well, it's always kind of night in space. <laughs> That's true. That's true. What do you mean day-night? But, night? but um, if you go back to cool. an area later, something may have changed. We never really talked about that, but we could... We could do day night versions fairly easy. Why the light bakes? What's yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's no fun. We have you talked about the how we might uh, ex allow pulse to be swapped out? We haven't really talked about that a whole lot. But that is a good that's a good example though. So, you know, like everything in the game is like the stub version of it. So there'll be more of that. Like the grenades. So it's a good collection of grenades. But we're gonna have more grenades. The uh, um, booster over here. The 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 idea of the pulse is something that sits in a slot that you can get more slots and then it has to recharge over time. Well that also means we can put other things in there. We could put that you get a sprint in there, we could put that you shoot fire out of your eyes. Um, but it's like we've made all these systems this way for modders to be able to make mods that do some of this stuff and make crazy versions. And then for us to do the same. So we always try to make everything expandable with the idea that that's just the beginning of it. And then we'll go from there. Could the flasher have different colored flashing lights based on the environment it is in? Try to be a little bit more careful. These are all cool ideas. Yeah. To hire your viewers. Um, I mean, obviously we have concerns about uh, causing people problems with flashing lights. Yeah. Um, so we're real careful with that and, and made sure we... Will there be an option you know. to turn down how bright the flasher is? Because some it's going to get annoying fast. There isn't one right now. Um, it's definitely something we've, we're, we're getting feedback from the community about that already, even with just the streamers, uh, and, yeah. and we're looking into it. Have you seen have the 45. crow? Have you seen the new crow cat video? I don't know what a video down. is, well, Tyler. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? So yeah. we're gonna run over to there. I like this path. Grab ready? Oh. Oh, oh, shit. Kind of. oh, kill. Did you guys jump? No. Okay. I got I got yeeted off of there. Oh, no. And we got a flooper. Oh, I'm in the regular gooper. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Gum. I'm going with Gorian. Dorian. I got I got knocked off. Oh, you by got the grabber. Uh oh. Spawner. Please stop following. Where's Tyler? Oh, I got grabbed. Crap. Wow, that was a good grab. I'm on my way. Yes. Ooh, I'm very low health, so I'm trying my best. Here, let me boost you. Where are you? I'm down. That's where I am. Root. Damn. I'm gonna right you, behind I'm gonna give you, you a Rude. fast boost. Right it's behind. It's my fine. Oh I'm wow. Gonna... That was a. Did you get heated? I don't see. I don't see where you are. Probably start shooting with the bad monsters. Oh, there we go. All up, we're all up and running. Yep, haul ass. Probably you're running away from the exit. Oh, sorry. Use that. Use that fast heal. Oh boy. Oh. Is there a the MC there? there? Watch out, behind you. No. Oh, Dorian, I got bad news, bud. Uh. And what are you doing? Hit it. <laughs> you might have to leave me. You're good too. I thought there was an elevator. Oh my God! There's so many of them up here. Get in here. Hey, Cooper's down. 
I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm heading in. This you party think sucks. Any of those goopers have been detectives in a past life? Like a, like a gumshoe gooper? <laughs> Is this the question from the audience or question from you, Tyler? Please stop following. Okay. Oh, I'm fine leaving Will out there. Grab. No! I'm, I'm still bothered so by that question. I'm fine penalizing Will for it. What? I wasn't bothered. I just I was a, that was a perfectly uh, reasonable thing to ask. Close the door. I'm shooting the gooper. Are you going to leave me out here to die for the third level in a row? Well, because you... you're just bad. This is the new low. <laughs> I would have been fine if I hadn't saved Dorian, Tyler, Tyler again. And, uh... <laughs> All right. All right, I'm opening the door. Let me kill the, the gooper first. Let me, let me kill uh, 50 more aliens out here, and then you guys can come save me. There's a grabber. Good, good parry there. That was awesome. Guys, the level's over. Let's end the level. Yep, please shut the door. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I survived a level finally. Holy cow. Congratulations, Mr. Whew. Smith. So we're just going to go to the bridge. Uh, will there be a progression system, cosmetic, or gameplay? We need to download it yes. on a universal data card. That will take some time. It'd be amazing Wait, like if you didn't, how much time? You didn't Two, say anything minutes? else. Well, just, yes. And then we move I on. hope we tired out the aliens. Okay. okay. That's amazing. The question, Tyler. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Can I change the color of my afro? Your hair color right time. Right now you cannot change your hair color. Um, but you may be eventually. We did alternate looks. Up the lift to the bridge. There's some cool 70s clothes coming. I know that. Will there be Bee Gees inspired items? Like dances, let's say? Hmm. Oh, I yes. Just, I just said Bee Gee inspired items. That got well, you very I guess excited. They didn't lock Chet. Down the bridge. Well, there's nothing Chet loves more than the Bee Gees. Well, being Abba, honest. close, but. Okay, yeah, yeah fair. So is the is the Fortnite default dance going to be uh, uh, in the game? There's, there's no flossing at this time, Tyler. That's not what I mean. The default one, the one that that uh, from Scrubs. What? what? I don't I don't I don't know I don't know the Fortnite default dance. I guess I haven't I mean, played that You much guys Fortnite. are you guys are kind of old, so I guess I can forgive you. I mean, kind of old. Is it flossing or is it the? No, you're not old, your Dorian. Dorian, you're not I'm, old. Chet's I'm old. telling your mom you called her old. Oh, she knows she's old. All right. But she's having a bad day. Her doctor gave her blood pressure medication. You might not want to tell her. <laughs> oh this, no. This is why you're not her favorite son. <laughs> you see, the thing is, I am. That, that's that's how bad yeah, all of us she are. She said no. She said oh, no. Oh, did she really say no publicly? Oh fuck. I've been playing a. Uh, Fortnite with my kid. The latest season is pretty cool. Man, I love what they do. How how they like change the map and the levels and tell weird stories. It's it's a it's a it's a fun thing to watch. Standing in goo oh. protects you from damage. I just don't think I know anybody who uses the default dance. It's a... My my son was making fun of me for having the default dance. <laughs> yeah, I, my understanding is that the children in the schoolyard call each other defaults if yes. they. Uh, this is correct. Yeah. If they have the, yes, if they wow. have the default dance. Calling mean. someone a default is yeah, that is a. Hey Tyler, get, uh, what's up? Tyler, you have you have the extra special weapon stuff, right? Here. Correct. Weapon here. Weapon here. Oh cool. Yeah. Turret. Turret you you are yeah, you are Mr. Turret then. I'm Turret Man. Uh, is Spider Man going to be added to the game? <laughs> We are not discussing collaborations at this time. Okay, so yes. Kotaku, Spider-Man, and Anacrusis. Do it, I dare you. The Fortnite Spider-Man is pretty cool. The, the web sling ability. What about can you do Fortnite whatever a spider can? Health scanner. The, you can pick up web slingers in, in Fortnite. You can swing around like Spider-Man. It's yeah, pretty it's cool. cool. That's pretty good. From what I've heard, it's pretty good. Is the game going to try and target 60 FPS minimum? Yes. It's a current, yeah. Uh, last gen well, console, 30, yeah. but um, current gen and PC, 60. Uh, is the sequel going to be called Anatusis? 
that's that's good. <laughs> but the, the, the goal is to not do a sequel. Okay. Instead, do the yeah. one and keep updating it. Because there's this time I learned something where people like the idea of the one keep going. And, you know. Why shout, not? Outs, but, shout outs to the worst gaming community in history. No, no. Do not say that. They're the best, man. They're still uh -huh. around. They're going at it. Yes. Plus, Chet can't count to three, so... No, I yeah, it's I was a curse. Say, once once yeah, you sign is... that employment NDA, it's, it, that, that number doesn't exist anymore. This is our protection. It just stays at one, all yeah. our games. Yeah. yeah. So so because there won't be an Anatusis, we don't have to wait for the sequel for Melee I'm weapons, healing. right? Exactly. Well, no, okay. I mean, but, but that's one of the things Dorian, Dorian was talking about a little while ago. Like, the... Like we have, we can take the pulse slot item out and change the way the shield. You know, we can make the shield a forward swipe. We can make it do damage. We can make it light things on fire. We can make it an axe. Whatever you know, whatever. Whatever we are. you can literally do. Yeah, we yeah. You know, like doing a health scan. Yeah, we control the game. If a modern wants to remake No Mercy, but it's on the ship in the style of No Mercy, the style of Anna Crucis, they can. Yeah. You know that's gonna happen, right? That's like the first thing people are gonna try and do is remake Left 4 Dead stuff. I mean, to be clear, the first thing we did when, with Left 4 Dead 2 with every new creature was, does it work in No Mercy? Because No Mercy just freaking works really well. It so, does, I mean, it's kind of like, what's your Dust 2, right? Or 2-4? Yeah, four. yeah. Bruh, Stray Bombay can't even count the 2. We can't even count the 1. <laughs> Alright, so this is the final battle of Chapter 1. Um, so what is this big thing, this, this, this pulsating testicle of space sitting right here that's, uh, computers in the future man the computers of the future have testicles it's a pentium 12 holy shit what does that get like six gigahertz it went, went back to the pentium naming i mean what if, it, if it, it's not broke all right before we hit these buttons i want to go around the room everybody name your favorite left for dead campaign It'll be from one or two chat oh man the parish. The parish. Okay. Parish because a um I love New Orleans. Lived down there. One of the reasons why we we did all that. And then um, the bridge was the first thing. Randy Lundine was one of the first level designer artists that came and joined me on the Love for Dead project, and we came up with the idea of how to do the finale. Um, while we we're still like at the end of Love for Dead one, we're like, how do we do this? What would be interesting? What's the interesting thing? And we came up with that, and I still think Banner it stands here. up. Yeah, there's a weird thing about the tank and how you s skirt around it and run and all that, but whatever, it's still fun. Dorian, what's your favorite Left 4 Dead campaign? Mm, between Heavy Rain and... I can't remember, what's the one with the name of the one with the gas can fill-up sequence? The mall with the, the car? Y yeah, what was the name Please of that? Please stop following. That's Dead Center, isn't Dead it? Center. Dead Center, yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah. uh, wow. one of those two. Uh, Mr. Will Smith. I like the one with the with the field and the farmhouse. That's it, where, where, yeah, I think it's Blood Harvest, maybe? Yep. Yep. Where the, where the tank drives up to the end and rescues you, and it's, 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 like, I love that moment when you jump down off the cliff and have to run through the corn cornfield is my all-time favorite thing to do in Left 4 Dead. It's terrifying every single time. I, I also really love the one with the flood, where you, where you... Go one oh, way through the, through the... That, that one's my favorite. Yeah. That one's my favorite, yeah. yeah. With all the witches. When, when you get the one with the... I can't remember if the witches are always there or if you just get the witches sometimes. But when it's when it's witches on the way back, it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. That is my that is one of my favorites to play with um, versus. Just because there's a lot of hiding and a wide open path. And man, you could be evil in so many ways. Um, I, I love that for that. When, when I go back and play now, though, I tend to play No Mercy. It seems like No No Mercy or Dead Center. Those are those are the two that that. that the last one I played play. was uh, Questionable Ethics. Come on. Oh, that's right. I watched, yeah, those are. Cool. I watched. Yeah, that that Actually, looked awesome. I, did, I want to play that. We we did all the Christmas mods. There was a pack that if you added them all together, it made everything Christmassy. It was pretty good, man. <laughs> Again, I, I just love the community that comes up with that stuff. It just cracks me up. Um, this is a personal question, and then we gotta hit the button. Um, will there be, like, Anna Cruz's posters that I can put on? Because I'm redoing my wall back there, and I'd love to put an Anna Cruz's poster on my we back. We don't have one yet, but considering that we did it off of, like, 70s movie posters, it's screaming for one. Yeah. What's, 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 your, what's your favorite, Tyler? What, my yeah, favorite Left 4 Dead campaign? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hard Rain, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Wow. The first, wow. I remember when I was like 12 and I played the level forward and then I, I realized that you were making the player play it backward but with like a twist to it, it just blew my mind. And like, that was one of the moments that made me like really start thinking about the decisions that go into game development and stuff. I, I fucking love that, that level. The person who really came up with that was um, uh, Ido, who would then go on to lead um, CSGO. Mm -hmm. Oh, shout outs to Turtle, Mr. Turtleneck Good boy. Guy. He plays ukulele and he loves turtlenecks. Mr. <laughs> e Ido Magal is funny because I, oh, I pronounced yeah. his name wrong for about six years. And then I met him in person. And he's he like, you? and yeah, he's like, hey, it's good to meet you, Tyler. Also, it's Ido, not Ido. Thanks. And that's like the <laughs> only thing he ever said to me. Yeah. Mm, Ido's a good guy. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. <clears throat> okay, get ready, get ready, get ready. I, I have traveled the world with Ido. You've traveled the world with a lot of people. Roots. You've done a lot. Oh, we got double brutes right out of the gate. I don't know where the where the gooper, oh, the gooper's down low. I only know one answer. Yeah, burn it. I get Throw another another stasis. Oh man, I just wasted my only state, my last stasis. I think. What are you doing down there, Tyler? I fell. Are you I doing fell. okay? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm working my way back up, you know, making my way downtown. The goo looks like a pickle. Yeah, the game turned me into a, a pickle. I'm, I'm pickle okay, whatever I'm grab, I'm grab. Where are you grab? Blue side back. Okay, I'm going. Uh, I'm getting mauled. I'm down. Look at Dorian's. The brute is coming. This is bad. Oh no, that's fire, not shield. Sorry, that's my bad. I did the chest. Thank thing. you, Ryan. Grab. Thanks. Thank you. I got the grabber's still. Uh, grabber's dead. Oh, and there's a brute here. Yay. Oh, you nice. You can ungrab was... someone without killing the grabber. With the pulse, yeah. Oh, okay. And you could also counter the, when the when the grabber's about to grab you. You can counter the, with a pulse, timed right. You, Watching you people can... figure out the parries has been really fun. Yeah, you can also parry oh, um, the Goor, as well as the turret shots. So there's a lot of counterplay for skilled individuals. You, you always want yeah. to have that option. You want to have that sense of agency, right? Where it's just not, oh, now I got to pull it, slug it out. Sometimes you want to, like, hey, I screwed up. I didn't block it. But hey, I did block it. And I get, a, get that little benefit. I'm, I'm really excited to see what people what the speedrunners do with the tool set that they have in this game. That's good that you're thinking about it. I mean, we're not, you know, we're, it's idle curiosity, not anything else. Well, it's like, it's not, it's not something, like, it's in your mind. There are a lot of things that don't even consider it. They really hate you, Tyler. Nah, I know. I think it's because somebody mentioned the flasher, now we're just getting a ton of them. You're not gonna get this money. Oh, I'm I'm gooped. I went down to the death hole. Well, up the goo. You fixing the goo, chat? I got it fixed. You can set you can set the goo on fire either. The oh, double, goo double grabbers by me. Brad. I got gotcha. you. need help. I got Tyler. This gun doesn't sound powerful at all. Which gun are you oh. using? Uh, plasma rifle. Yeah. All right. Oh, 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 I'm grabbed. Red side. I'm, I'm good. Oh. Um, I'm good. Got it. Tyler's down. Dorian's the only one up. Yeah, Dorian, if you get me, I'll help you with everybody else. Okay, oh, Dorian's got to do something. 
Oh, this is bad. Oh boy, I'm good. Dorian was good. Like oh, I'm times. ungood. Oh. Are you down or up? I'm Will. Down. I'm I'm down. I'm down. The common aliens have no weight to them. They're just slapping air. Two goers chasing you. Yeah, I'm t I can't. I don't have any temp health here. Oh, I got good. Is that it? I can, I can, I can, no, no, I can get chat. Oh, I was hitting him. Boo. The big thing we cannot forget, the data card. We need to bring that back with us, or all this was for nothing. Should be a lift right outside the safe room. You know, for the making it good to shoot common, we've got a lot of stuff in there now. The animators are adding some more. One of the fun things is... One of the animators that worked with me on Left 4 Dead 2, uh, Matt Scott, actually joined us and has been spending some time going back and going through um, the common and adding more creation. So definitely feel you there. Um, and that's just one of those things. It's just more work. We just needed to do it. I mean, it's it's one of the places we took like feedback changing. after the the launch tra the announced trailer, right? You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Ready? Yeah. But the work done well, up until that point was done by bridge. mostly uh, like 10 or 12 people. And, uh, you know, we, we know that it's work in progress. That's why we're launching in early access. Mm -hmm. Do they plan on adding a dot crosshair? You know, I, I've been shocked at the number of people who've asked for fancy crosshairs or, or crosshair options. Uh, I don't know that it's something we talked about. My guess is that like a game like Valorant has probably more people working on crosshairs than we have on the entire <laughs> team. Um, yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah. I, I, like we we've definitely noted the feedback, mm -hmm. the requests. Like I, I love the Valorant crosshair thing. I think it's ridiculous, and I love seeing all the weird stuff people make. Well, that's a lot of bad guys in there. Warren, what you doing down there? <laughs> they got me trapped. Oh yeah, seems 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 uh, bad. Man, we must be really good at this game because the director is kicking our ass. Once we I would say that, except for all the dying we're doing. Oh uh, yeah, you know that's true. So you you lost you for dying. You lose the perks that you gained. On that level for wiping, for wiping. When we wipe, we lose all those perks, and then you come back, and now you have to uh, pick a new one. I got a tough choice here. I can get oh, pinging a special enemy grants a burst of adrenaline or pulse extender or SMB tracking rounds. All of these are really good. I think you should pick the one that your heart Scanner desires. Here. Scanning. Tyler, I'm going to go with here. adrenaline. Where do you think I should place these? I would hold I... them until we're like halfway through. Oh, okay. Honestly. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Otherwise, I like to protect the ammo lane. Just. Yeah, the death hole is what I call it. The death hole. You know why we call it that, Tyler? Because people die? Yep, yeah, it's where you go to die. Oh, it's like those little. It's like those pods. Those suicide pods? Yeah. What's the deal? A little with less those? grim than that. Yeah. We don't have those in our universe, I don't think. No, we do. They, they, they exist. Alright, we ready? Yep. Yeah, let's hit the button. <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one, one, go. You guys missed. Three, two, Three, two one, one, go. go. Everyone ready? There we go. Eight here. Eight here. Oh! What? Will excited. Bonner. We Explorer. just got a big giant raid! Hello! Sorry if I got in the way. Flasher. Flasher. Oh man, I have a special weapon. I can start things on fire. Man, that vortex grenade. I fucking love that vortex grenade. 
out! That just sucks in a lot of healing. It reminds me of that thing that, that was cut from uh, episode one. That exact idea was, was removed, was cut from episode one to episode one. And it's always, like, fascinating. Big. Grab. Behind you. Dorian Sphinx. What killed us last time was we got spread out. Not Will, who raided? Uh, we got raided by Chaco Taco, who is one of my, uh, it's actually my favorite PUBG streamer, I think, so. Yeah. Or, is he, a, is, he, wait, is he a PUBG streamer still, or do we call him a, um, whatchamacallit? I, uh, I, think, I think he's a, I think he's a, a variety streamer. He's a Battle Royale streamer. Okay, because uh, I've been watching him play, which, oh my god, I can't think of the name. Come on, you know, I know the name. What's the name? Super People? Apex. Super People, yeah. No, super people. Super people's cool. Wait, might, I, 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 grabbed. People. Back. Grabbed in the back. Where? In the very oh. back of the room. Okay, oh, down. okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Gonna do some shame, something shameless here. If you're joining from Taco Taco stream, I'm I'm a really Let's cool guy. Tyler McVicker, uh, twitch.tv slash Tyler McVicker, also YouTube. Formerly Valve News Network. Good job, good plug, Tyler. Thank you. Always be plugging. How come you're not wearing one of your hats, Tyler? I'm out of ammo. One of my hats? Well, we're not selling them anymore. They were a limited time holiday thing. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I, I thought when you say limited time, you just make that up. And it's no, not no, no, no. Time. Why would I lie about that? I'm not that shameless. I got you, Dorian. Thank you. Doug Lombardi called me a passionate gamer to IGN, so I made passionate gamer t-shirts. That's the current thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Ah, uh, Doug. Yeah. Go! Health scanner. Go, go, go! Help me, I'm down. Ah, oh, damn it, I thought I had it. I'm right near the ammo. Thank you. Oh, oh gosh, great. shoot the girl off me, shoot the girl yep, off me. Yep, 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 yep. Let's kill the viewer. I got Tyler. Yep. Oh, I got knocked off of Tyler. Yep. There's a brute Oh, this brute's right gonna hit me. Yeah, it's bad. Good thing okay. I have more stasis. Yep. And I got big bubbles. Okay. You know what? It's time for the fire or, or lightning, whatever. I'm dead. I'm gone. Bringing Tyler back. I'm down. Shit, I just got. I don't. Okay. Wasted. I think we're gonna. I'm dead. Uh, I think Dorian, I'm the last one up. Time. Come on, no, bring no, it back! No. Hit H, hit H, hit H! I'm good, I'm good. Dorian. I hit H once. You're coming, you're both reviving. Oh? Thanks, Dorian. Oh? Please stop oh? following. You guys are gonna need guns. Thanks for the follow! Tyler, don't worry about followers right Please now. Yeah, worry about I'm, the game, dead. I'm dead! I'm oh, dead. So you're okay, coming, you're back, you're on your way back. Okay, but I can worry about, okay, now I'm back. I won't say followers. Not anymore. with that attitude. Oh, get that flasher. Followers oh, equate to my income, but this is more important than that, damn it. Look, we're playing a game, sir. Yeah. Ah, uh, who cares about taxes? We are at 80%. Oh, man, I'm out of health. Don't you have heal? Do you have healing goo still, Tyler? I have a heal. I have a heal. at some point. I have healing goo, but I also have a health kit here. Should help. Oh, thank you. You're a beautiful man. I know, right? Thank you. Right I'm coming back, Dorian. I'm coming back. Don't, don't go and follow me. I'm coming back. That was a good pulse, Dorian. I think the thing's about to come up. We got a brute coming. Yep. This is bad. I'm throwing goo everywhere. Oh, bad choices. We're almost there. Two brutes. Oh, two no, brutes. two brutes. Oh, I just got blasted. And everything's on fire again. How much time do we have? Five seconds, maybe? Spawner, spawner. Maybe yeah, ten. I'm gonna run through the fire and grab it. Is it oh, there? Yeah. It's almost up. up. It's not up yet. Oh no, I got good. I'm right by the thing. Oh yeah, I hell. I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, Jory got it, yay. Good job. We did it? Oh, thank God. We win. Congratulations, us. Whew.
What's the number? How many how many common did we kill? <laughs> Six thousand? Does it tell hey, us? Flashers. We had so many flashers. Maybe the flashers need a little bit of tuning. Little little, little flashers. Fifty four hundred. Well, we had a lot of flashers. We didn't normally. Yeah, there was a lot of flashers. Yeah. Oh my we got all the matter compilers though. Nice job, everybody. Thirty five. Will there be Oof. achievements? Yes. Uh, when we leave early access, yes. Cool. Absolutely. Can we play a little yeah. bit of chapter two? Because I haven't seen it yet. You haven't played chapter two yet? Yeah, of course. I haven't played any of any. I haven't. I've been waiting to play with you guys so I can have my first Aww. reactions to it. Yeah. Thank you, Tyler. You're you're welcome, Mr. Will Smith of Wild Wild West fame. So what we were doing there is we were downloading data to the data card. Um, so that has where everybody in the world is um, or in this part of the galaxy so that we can go look for survivors. Yes. But as we start this, so there's a little bug in this version where we're not going to hear the canonical story. So as we start this next episode, what happens is searching for Boris, the crazy man scientist woman, finds an anomaly on the ship. And she's like, oh, we got to figure this thing out because those aliens are up to no good besides killing everybody. Aliens are never up to any good. Do we really know that? Um, that's what that's so what we're Stephen just going Hawkins to run in said. And grab this alien thing, and they'll oh, be cool with that. Is that really the plan? It does sound like a bad idea. Like really bad. Aren't these little conversations be at the beginning different every time? We could learn a great deal from it. There's got to be an easy. There's way. Are a lot of them, Tyler. Ideas. Yeah. yeah. All ears. I wish there was a book Nessa could read or something instead. But if I think of another way, I'll let you know. Oh. Well. But there were, it's the thing we learned was in Left 4 Dead, we were always worried that you had to tell exactly what to do every single time mm -hmm. because players were going to know what to do. But players played those episodes so much, they knew what to do and they got sick of hearing those same stories. So I thought, well, hell, we'll give you the canonical story yeah, once or twice. We're going. And then we will just start mixing it up and give you more on the world and tell you what's happening with characters and everything else. Damn, this is a really pretty map. Holy shit. Wow. Who would be responsible for art passes? Let's give him a shout out. This was done by um, Kip and Jules. Shout outs. Are there any special weapons planned, like we such as the grenade launcher or M60 variant? Yes. Um, there are two oh. more special weapons that you will get um, this in the next, like, so we have a, I hate to say the word season pass, because it's not a season pass, because people think you got to pay for season pass, and it's all this monet. Look, it's, we have a challenge track where you earn things, because it's fun to have little goals. And Absolutely. so things you can earn inside of that include um, my favorite thing, and that is a rocket that shoots homing rockets. It's, it's the rocket rocket launcher. It's the rocket 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 launcher. Yeah. And it's awesome. And oh, hit the button, hit the button. Oh, and this is a bad button press. A don't brute. don't hit the button. Is that a is that a smoldering gooper? I think it is. Got it. So the Go battle ahead. so the quote unquote battle pass or season pass or whatever, which isn't paid, it's just challenges you complete to earn things. Correct. Is more than just cosmetics. But yeah. so if let's say let's say you earn the rocket 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 rocket. Yeah. Well um, everybody you play with also has it available to them, right? If you've ever played Killing Floor 2 and how like they do the unlocks that everybody can share them, I really like that part of it. And one of the things over on our Discord that we've been doing um for over a year now, our Discord.gg slash Stray Bombay, um, is we've been playing with the community. So we learned like, hey, you know what? I this game. And so for Killing Floor 2, we really like that if somebody earned a weapon, everybody had access to that weapon. I mean, it's like buying a round in a bar, right? Everybody oh, gets... Bonner. 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 Oh, I'm right. Yeah, I'm 24. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Poof. 1997 was 24 years ago, yeah. Look, it's hard to tell at this point. Yeah. I hear an MC someplace. I found a matter compiler. Healing goo. That spawner just wanted to die. Yeah, he just came in with. No, he's like, what are you hey. guys looking at? Hey, 
I want, I want to be your friend. What are you guys looking at? What's over there? And Is instead of cool? talking with him, instead of becoming his friend, we killed him. He can't, he can't work the, oh, oh boy. Bad, bad times. Let's go him. I stasis is his dead body. So we haven't we haven't said this in a while, but people in my chat are, were asking about price. The game's thirty dollars MSRP. Uh, launch discount will be twenty four bucks, and we're out on uh, Steam, Epic, uh, Xbox, and the Microsoft Store uh, on the thirteenth, and as well as PC and Xbox Game Pass. It's everywhere. Everywhere you want to be. Not a registered uh, catchphrase for some other. You didn't have a health kit. Product. I guess not. Who didn't have it? Wow. There's a booster here. No Stadia release. That's a question from this may surprise you. We we have nothing to announce at this time, um, but you can play it on X Cloud. Oh, uh, and GeForce Now also. Uh, Switch? Question mark. We are a small team. <laughs> going off our cross platform on what we are. It is hard to do cross platform well. Um, oh, I'm grab. Thank you. Hey. And anyways, you know what it works on right now well, what's it work on what does it work on chat what, what what would it work on that i would think oh you don't even need a switch uh, uh state oh it's steam, steam deck this yeah could steam deck. Power it's fun playing on a steam deck man i could lay in bed and play so steam deck if you don't have a steam deck or you're not thinking about getting a steam deck i'm just gonna say this ah uh, racing games in bed before sleep is fucking awesome what Does that make you fall asleep? Is such a good machine to play racing games on. Go, go. I would be so hyped up, I would never sleep. There's good, there's eggs on the right. Don't go right. Don't go right. Don't go right. Oh, my mark. What I do, Will, is I drink myself till I'm incoherent and fall asleep. Oh no, 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 that's bad. Oh, is that is, is that not is that not suggested? No, I'm, I'm it's grabbing. round of fun. I'm not a medical professional, okay. Um, but have you read the news lately? I mean, look, Tyler. <laughs> it's been a weird five years. Oh, the eggs. Yeah, it's been a really great time to become an adult. Yeah, I mean, look. I I graduated from college in a, into a recession and then watched the world change. It's been a bad 20 years in a lot of ways. Oh, cool. These so, eggs are so haunting me. my whole ass life, my whole yeah. life has been shit. Cool. Look, it's it's probably fine. It has not warped your perspective at all, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's Tyler's fault. It's my fault. I was born and then wow. George H. and Bill Clinton was like, okay, time to make everything bad now. <laughs> but we have 5G now. And that's we, what we do have 5G. That's true. And, we, that, yeah, and, well, and, kind of. and we have video games with, with girls that are also cats. Do this again. There's that. We got VTubers. Go. We've got... Look. Uh, Excuse me. Tyler, I think you might be the oldest 24-year-old I've ever met. <laughs> nice. You know, I get that a lot. I actually do get that a lot. I dress like I'm 80, I act like I'm 60, and I have the body of a 50-year-old. So. How many cardigans do you own, Tyler? Oh, That's don't fuck. That's not funny, man. Like, six. Oh. There's a brute. Oh. Wow, that was a good vortex. Shut up. A lot of aliens. <laughs> the secret of the vortex is I'll tell people if you want to get a good vortex explosion, huck them at the ceiling. Don't no, waste your time with the ground. Chuck them at nothing, and eventually it'll find someone. Uh, Dorian's grabbed. I got him. Oh, hey, did Chad, you? Look um, at me Chad, parrying all these. So you have a Steam Deck like available to you. You've been playing with a Steam Deck, right? Has does Honey Pop run well on the Steam Deck? What's Honey Pop? Uh, okay, you're gonna play that game. 
you! No. Behind no, no. you! Uh, no. Ah, oh no! Oh no! Dorian, I'm sorry. It was right behind you. I couldn't shoot through. I don't. I don't know what Honey Pop is. No, oh, okay. We'll just Google it sometime. You'll, you'll thank you. me later. Don't, don't, Come on, let's get don't you Google up. that chat. I'm healing. I was saying. I'm healing. Healing. It. But here's the deal. Oh. I've yet to find something that doesn't play well on it. How about that? That's really cool. I'm really it excited. Is, yeah, Honey really is a lot like Slay the Spire. That's true. Yeah. It plays Slay the Spire well, and you can play the Slay the Spire with a touch screen instead of having to use the control. I'm waiting. This nice just, just, myself. Did they have to do anything special to make that work? Like, do you know how that works? I'm really curious about how the... Like, do you have it's to add magic. special touch support? Okay, or do they just have some no. sort of magic? No, that's, that's it. You don't, have, that's it. You, don't have to, you don't have to add any support. It just freaking works. That's fantastic. The I'm, only I'm Enix fan ever, 44 months on Twitch Prime. Remember, if you have Twitch Prime, use it on me or Will. We're both streaming. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. You're welcome, Will. Don't jump down this. Don't, don't jump down there. That'll hurt you. Oh, you're okay. not. Chad, Chad knows. We have fall damage, just as an FYI. Okay. Um, so when's the game gonna get VR support? We're not I talking don't... about VR support at this time, Tyler. I think this would make people really sick. Do you still play VR stuff, uh, Tyler? Oh, every couple of days, yeah. Do you play, um, hang on, Pistol Whip? Oh, yeah. Denny yeah, and I, whip. I've been trying to make a video with Denny for, like, two years now. He's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you should, you should! Denny's great! Yeah. It's just logistic. It's like, schedules never line up. I think Pistol Whip is probably what I have the most hours in at this point, I think. Uh, you know. Behind you! My favorite is probably... Well, I mean, I have the most hours in Half-Life Alex for work reasons. And then after that's probably like... Boneworks? You could have said you, you have that many hours in because you like it. You didn't need to you didn't counter it or anything, you know? Half-Life Alex is the best VR game ever made. Yeah, I'll say leave that. Leave Tyler good. Nah, yeah, yeah, it's fine. We can just leave him good. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I played a ton of Demio earlier this year. I really like that. I think it's, it's really a neat game. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to try uh, the Tilt 5 stuff. Have you been paying attention to that at all? Me and me, mm -hmm. love you, G. I am an advisor for Tilt 5. Oh, really? Yeah. I met um, met her down when we choose at Valve. Um, been friends since. I, I've, I, I've taught, like... Jerry and I have spoken about it a lot. It's just I've, I haven't been able to, to try the, the hardware out yet. And I really want you to. You should do that. Now you should do a video on it. Because it is it is one of those things that um, if you look at it in a video without somebody who understands games or like understands experience explaining it, it doesn't look that crazy good. But when you're there, it looks myself. that crazy good. It works really, really well. Yeah. I was able to get a bit of a viral video going related to that one because of she talked about like a Left 4 Dead prototype that she made at Valve or whatever. And then people were like, oh shit. So as long as I can connect it back to some unreleased Valve prototype, anything can be advertised. There you go. Are we yeah. heading down? Oh, I jumped down already. Sorry. That Cooper is going to follow us. Man, is goo the most said thing for these voice actors? Did they have to say goo like a thousand times? They might say goo a few times. Oh, wow. Did you oversee There's a Brit up here. V uh, VO? Yeah, of course. I guess. Always. Tyler, we're a very small team. Got him out of ammo. But just because you're a small team doesn't mean Chet has to oversee goo. Sure, oh. it's that one of the. That's a, it's a tradition from the Valve days, right? Is yeah. writer in the room with the actors to make sure they're getting it, and yeah, and it's fun. I like doing that. Uh, Chet, you're probably the lowest right now. Yeah. Was well, one? I got a. Is a fetchy. Can, can you overheal me? On you than me. Yeah. Nice. Are there you. going to be levels outside oh, of a spaceship? We are showing the levels we are showing now and not talking about future. All right. There you go. 
So partially one Modern way to think about to make this whatever is, they want though too. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But I would I would like to think of it as like a like an HBO series in a way of like story's gonna come out, world's gonna come out, um be playing for a while. It's a succession of video games. I don't know if you watch that. It's, it's pretty funny though. I like that show. It's a pretty good joke. I haven't seen that one. I'm not just saying that because you write my page sign my paychecks either, chat. Is that the one with with uh, go, in it? Yeah, it's the one where oh, people are all horrible right. to each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that. But one of the one of the writers is this woman who also wrote for Veep, which is one of my absolute favorite oh, shows. Okay. Oh, yeah. really? I didn't yeah. know that. I'm suddenly much more interested. So they hired all British comedy actors, and they have to hire people to ask, "What do rich people do?" Because they're all like, hey, "We're not rich like that." Like they're like, "Rich people don't wear coats. They just get driven everywhere." Like. Yeah, there's a really good podcast with her talking about it. Um, and Veep is just hilarious. Veep, Veep is Veep was funny right up until it was like too real, real? Yeah. for me. Yeah. Same, same. Oh, there's an MC back by Dorian. But Veep is the funniest swearing in a in a game. I mean, in a in a movie, in a TV show. I I just love that. No, I'm I, jealous. I am like, like that's one of the few shows I am just absolutely jealous of. Jealous how? Just they're they're freaking brilliant. I wish I was that I good. The, I got the turret perk, by the way. Will there be more environmental objects? The grenades and health seem to be in odd places. I don't Stop. understand the question. I don't think. I don't fully understand it either. Could you elaborate? Underdone sushi, please. Oh, I thought you were asking me to elaborate on how I didn't understand the question. Oh no 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 no! no. I, I was just the person that asked. Well, why are you so stupid? Go ahead, answer. My grasp of the English language isn't as strong as it could be. I'm very sorry. I think they want you, grenade you racks. If you see some strange alien technology, yeah, it's mostly barrels. Um, true, but I think so, this will be different. If you don't oh. want to grab it, just call one of us. Over so one of the one of the things though with it yeah, is really? um sorry. definitely we're gonna have more grenades. There'll be more stuff in the world, and at some point, you know, I really like holdout mode. Or something like that. If we're gonna do holdout mode, then all of a sudden you want to have a bunch of other tools, right? So, do you have a trip mine? Do you have what other things do you have? So, uh, yeah, I think it's always like we don't just put things randomly in. Like all of the creatures form a goal, and you know, they... what, is, what do you mean by that? So, like the flasher is because it's often too easy when really good players are playing to be able to just prioritize all the specials, take care of them, and push back the common. Mm -hmm. But when all of a sudden, when they have to deal with this big flasher and they can't see anything, all of a sudden that messes up how they can prioritize and think about it, right? Um, the brutes is a really big thing that, hey, on your one-on-one, -on -one, you could take care of, but if you don't clear out the common, those are going to slow you down. You're going to have to deal with them. I'll admit, uh, is after working with Mike Booth a bunch, we would talk about creatures a lot and working out the original Left 4 Dead 1 and Left 4 Dead 2 creature. It just became like, you, you don't add things because they're cool, you stuff? add things because they serve a And for those that are unaware, who um, who is Mike Booth? Uh, Mike Booth was the original founder of Turtle Rock. Um, he's, a AI, he's an AI person. So essentially, in Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, I was a project lead at Valve. And so Left 4 Dead 1 I did with Michael Booth, Left 4 Dead 2 I did with Tom Leonard. Both of them are AI. Um, because I don't know AI, but I know AI is pretty important. Yeah. Who's doing AI on this project? This is, um, what we're playing now has been done in combination with uh, Dr. Kimberly Bull, the other co-founder, and uh, Amy Ackerman. Um, and Amy's really, I think, the one who took it kind of this last steps and really looked at it and said, I want a game that can, she's really good. She's a really good She FPS is. She player. is probably the best FPS player at the at the studio. Right? I mean, you and, know, that's everybody else. And she's like, I want something that's challenging to me and hard and yet Root. scales for Dorian, who's not that good. Um, <laughs> hey, I had, to I had to pick somebody. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, she did, she did the work on there. And just has a really good way of thinking about it. She's the one who took it from thinking about difficulty to thinking about intensity and saying difficulty is a different axis. And that was kind of a really big mindset change. Well, and, and the, the thing, like, it's really easy to kill players, Pull right? Out. Like, mm -hmm. that's not a, not a difficult thing to do. The hard part is making it fun 
for them, you know, building fun fights that can happen consistently and dynamically based pilot? on how people are playing. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of admiring. We can yeah, charge no. weapons over here. No, let, him, let him see the thing. Look, he'll, he'll learn. Why do I think Wait, it's what the fuck am I looking at? What is this? That? <laughs> go, go grab it. Go grab what? I have to go in there? Okay. Look at that. I guess it's so good. Oh, oh, oh god. She, she just says the simplest oh, words. Then. Then. All right, I'm grabbing it. Is it killing me slowly? No. No, it's just hot. I mean, it's radiation. It radiation. Is it going to mutate us? I've got bad news about your long term prospects after being on the spaceship oh, during no. the bad alien apocalypse. Oh, Tyler. no. I look fairly young, my character. I had so much to live for. There's a lot of fire in that hallway. I'm gonna Sorry, wait a minute before I go out the there. Spawner somewhere. I love it when you manage to piss Leo off by shooting her too much. Is it's, there friendly fire? It's the fire? only time she's ever upset. Yes. Oh, okay. I've got it. So, so, so we can't hold on to this thing for too long. Or Hot we'll potato. Die. Okay. No, no, yeah, you can hold on for a long time. See what happens. Pick it up and hold on to it. Well, right. It won't kill you. Probably. Hit the button, hit the button, hit the button, hit the button. Oh, it's in, it's in, it's in with this. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Nope, this was a bad time to shut the door. Oh, God. No. It's thinking, at least. Okay, that worked out. Oh, I just dropped it. Okay. That's all. You can drop it on the elevator. There was a bug for a while where we couldn't drop the alien stuff on the elevator floor, so we had to play hot potato as we went up. If anybody's played um, No Mercy and ever handed somebody pills and watched them go through the floor, they'll understand the pain of the fucking elevators. Here's, here's my suggestion to all kids out there. Don't put elevators in your game. Why are elevators so hard, Chef? Moving physics objects. You're networking everything. Everything's a little jittery. Yeah, but like, even single player stuff is still, you know. Moving still physics, physics objects. Yeah. Just don't do it. I mean, don't look. The alien the, stuff the, back there, Dorian. The alien stuff. When I played Alex the first time, Tyler, the thing that blew me away about it, I think I even talked about it in the tested video, is just how many physics objects there are in those worlds. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll put everything, it like almost everything that you feel like you can grab, you can grab. And I love here. Thank you. Use your real weapon, Tyler. We need you killing things. What's up? Nothing down there, Will. Uh, just some. Uh, there might have been a lightning and arc rifle. I wasn't sure. Brutes. Right, we need to kill some to of these bad guys. Path here a little bit because we might find a matter compiler we want. Yep. Keep working on the grabber. Oh boy. Grabber. Grabber's down. Oh, I missed my big grenades from the last game. The brute dead? Yeah, good job. Whew. There's gonna be a lot of fire back here. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, we should we should move while we can. Were there any were there any matter compilers? Yeah, hold up. I haven't seen Oh I hear one. one. I've been looking one. Oh you found okay. Yeah, there's one right here. I knew I heard it somewhere. It's hard to hear with the with the with the with the MacGuffin. The MacGuffin makes a cool sound though. Yeah. It sounds it does. like a mouth harp slows down. Going this way, right? It really does. I got it. Tyler, I appreciate that you you got that. I think when I said that, everybody thought I was a little crazy. <laughs> oh, first aid here. I'm gonna heal real quick. Please stop over over here. Oh yeah. boy, this is bad news. Oh, there's two brutes. That's too many brutes. <laughs> Did you have time to heal, Bill? No. Yeah, I got Please the heal off. Thanks Didn't for the follows, really guys. Thanks for the nice. follows. Net 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 even on that one. Oh. Brutes down, first brutes down, second brutes down. Don't worry, I got it. If you're new to the channel for the stream, follow. I'm a really cool guy. I think really cool people don't have to say that. Tyler's the most modest person I know, also. 
I'm not actually that but, cool, but they'll learn that over time. I don't have to tell them now. He owns he owns a great many cardigans, is the thing to remember. I do. I, I See, that's not even a joke. Please stop following me. When my grandfather passed when I was like 10, he left me his entire wardrobe, and that's pretty much all I wear. That, now, that, see, that's sweet. Now I can't yeah. make fun of you for it anymore. Yeah, it's just, it kind of made me, like, like have this grandpa chic sense of styling. It's, I've, yes. always, I've always dressed like I was 80. I think Chef had a matter compiler, by the way. Oh, matter compiler? Where's the matter? It's, oh, it's over there? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's uh, it's this oh, one right here. This the matter compiler? This one. Yeah, this right. one is the... It's the this, yeah. This, yeah, right. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to pick up Goo Nullifier, and I can be the... the uh, the thingamabubber carrier. Primary weapon and pistol hold more charge. It. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay, there's a oh, uh, there's boosts and scans over here. Why is there so much stuff? Is this the end of the chapter? Uh, well, I mean, you'll have to wait and see. Okay. Surprise. I'm gonna goo the path. You behind notice? Remember? Remember when we stood on one side of the platform and it was broken? I do. But we can see down over here. <gasps> Side is working. Oh wow! And you're teaching us. Wasted. Let's go. Uh, Where's the thing? The okay. <laughs> Don't worry about stuff behind us. It's gonna be quickly in a in a hellstorm yep. of turrets. Let's go. I got it. Oh, I'm grabbed and was pulled all good. the way across the map, and then immediately. I'm just running. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Dorian, shoot me. Shoot me clean. You can shoot me clean. Thank you. I can't carry it anymore. Oh, I, I got out. Oh, yeah, I got it. Are you good too, Chet? Yeah. I'll be okay. Thank you. I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna make it. I feel. I feel happy. Watch out, Dorian. There's goo coming. Oh shit! Oh, hey, Will. sorry, Chad. Hey. Oh, the goo! The goo saved the day there. Oh, I got good. I think you're gonna be okay. I just want to end the game with dignity. Yes. The cheese. Very nicely done. I apologize for shutting the door on everyone. I just wanted to make sure we won there. Fair enough. But so each of the finales has each of right now each of the episodes has a different finale, different ways, and see what people think, what they like the best. Yeah, um, I couldn't see that finale because a grabber got me, threw me across the map, and dropped me down a death plane. So, like, <laughs> right as the bridge opened, I couldn't see any of that. Tyler, sometimes life's not fair. Sometimes life isn't. Uh, it's true. Yeah, sometimes the grabber, sometimes you get the grabber, sometimes the grabber gets you. So, uh, we're, we're, we're winding up here. Um, the season button says coming soon. Uh, Correct. Indeed. When, what is, when is soon? We will see. We yeah. will see. Okay. What can we soon. expect in this, in this section of the menu? This will show us, so we were talking about, like, those quests that you'll have to do to unlock things. Mm -hmm. and again, it's all free to everybody if you buy it at launch. These will always be free to you. Um, you just get to do these little challenges, and there's a series of them every week. You have some things to complete, and if you complete them, um, you could get uh, the first week, I think, you can pick an emote and some clothes, I think is it. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and you can get the reroller. So one of the things you can get is if Madican, when you go to a Madican compiler, you can actually choose to re-roll it. Hmm. So we can do weird things like that, um, where we can just really kind of mess around with... Uh, so you're really going to be doing far more than just, like, weapon skins. Yes. Well, it's a, it's a PvE game, so, you know, there's no there's no kind of pay-to-win situation, right? We can we can give people new powers and do whatever you want. weapons and, yeah, all sorts of interesting stuff. It opens up some possibilities. Um, yeah. And the individual personalities of the, I'm going to call them scientists or what, what they're not, are they survivors? What, what do you call them? They're not, they're not scientists. They're, uh, they're, they're uh, space, space, space people. They're just people. I don't know, man. They're people. <laughs> people. 
people. Look, Chet, you say it's, this all it's the always, time. You know, it's always really weird to me when you make this weird artificial name and then you have to keep using it. I mean, yeah, they're the survivors. They're the people who last the ship. They'll talk about kind of what happened to them on their ships and go with there. But yeah. So these, but it was, yeah, these... it was important that they're just regular people to okay. me. That they all just right. they all have, they all have their little background where they came from, kind of what they have there. Yeah, passengers. Um, and so you learn a little bit more about them as you play. And every time you play, you know, the beginning, the episodes will definitely give you a big dump. And then you learn their personalities. You learn, like a bit of a. I always say Lance was easy for me to write because he's a narcissistic asshole. So I just think, what would I say? And then I write it down, and that's what he says. Um, and so it works pretty well. <laughs> okay. So they're really like, so what we're playing here is really just almost like a demo because there's so much potential in future content that individuals can expect from the Anacrusis moving forward, both in terms yeah. of playable content and modifiers. It, there, it just seems like it's a wealth of things that will occur. Yeah, we definitely were trying to figure out how much is too little and how much is where we're already making it, where it doesn't feel like we can actually make a lot of change. We want to make sure we go into early access and do real early access mm -hmm. where people can really mix it up and change um, it and, you know, be influenced by them. Because again, I, I'll i use a scavenge example. I've been there where we disappeared for, I mean, just a year at that point, but didn't really take that much feedback on it and really just test it internally we thought we knew and then came out you know so we want to make sure we're building what the players want to play and just really get that base and then also like that's why we want to open it up early to modders because modders will just have a big influence on what they want like it's it's really easy to see the when we so so early on in the modder enough not to get too inside baseball but per force is uh our source control right yep. that's how you this where all our code is it's all our very personal like you actually see all the game and all the rawness well, so we just brought the modders in and said, hey, we don't know what you need. So perfect. you have full access to it. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Like the next day, one of the modders came up with a holdout mode that kind of mirrored Left 4 Dead's. Like, so we just opened it up and go with it, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's really kind of how we're going to do it with the modders. I'll tell you this. They're going to start with things like maps and models because those are the easy things. And we'll go from there. Well, and and Tyler, you know, in addition to the three episodes that we're launching with, you know, episodes four and episodes five will come out during the early access period mm -hmm. uh, in, in varying stages of beta, depending on what we decide to do. We also have the weekly challenge, which is a thing that changes every week. Um, the one that's up right now is Scavenger Hunt. That 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 plays like kind of like traditional Left 4 Dead, where you start with just a pistol, mm -hmm. and then you have to go scrounge your your main gun and your healing and your grenades and your you know everything else along with the gun, so you don't start with one of the first three weapons. Um, we have Marathoner in, which is, I think, the next one or the one after. I can't remember. Um, and that will be uh, all three episodes back to back. And if you wipe, you go back to the very first airlock oh, and start over. Screw but, that. but, but the same at the same time, you have you know t ten levels worth of perks. Yeah, you by keep the time you get that. To yeah, the end. okay, all right, that makes so sense. So you're wildly OP by the time you get to the to the episode three finale. So you're making all yeah. of these different modifiers for the weekly challenges. Down the road, would you be willing to put in, like, a complete... Like, it doesn't affect your season or your challenges, but just custom games where you have full control over the rule sets with your friends? Yeah, so, so I think I, one, of, yeah. one, of the, okay. one of the really cool things is with the director, since the director places everything in the world, mm -hmm. the director knows about everything in the world in a way that we did in Left 4 Dead, right? Like, so we were good. So it was putting those Matic compilers way off the path, and we had to go... It would normally put them, if you're bad, they'll put them right in front of you so you can find them because we figure like bad players can't spend that much time looking for things. They're not going to find them. Not bad mm -hmm. players, but you know what I'm saying. Um, there's no bad players. Uh, but so we have so much control and we have so much thinking that the AI director is doing about these things that we can go in there and we can just do something simple and say like, oh, there's no temp health in the map. Mm -hmm. Or, hey, the only grenades you can find are grenades. And so you can make all kinds of crazy things. Then the question becomes, all right, if you do that, then those are the set of challenges, and we those are the tools right now we use. But if we expose those to players, what you really want is you want both sides of that, is you want to have those pieces to the challenge, then what's success? Mm -hmm. Is it under those conditions surviving? Is it under those conditions getting through the map the fastest, getting through the map with the least amount of damage, getting through this exact map, because this map and this rules are harder? Like, and giving them those kind of parameters. And so some of this is we just want to testing with this seeing what people react to and what they like and you know i've been pushing is we should some of these both the challenges to earn stuff and these be pushing the edge of like maybe some people aren't gonna like these and we'll learn 
We have to learn and we have to adjust for that. And that's so that we're really doing a really early act not just merely buying more time while we keep working on the game. You're doing an exact opposite of what people experienced when they were in the Left 4 Dead community, for example. You're being, yeah, Left 4 Dead. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, I mean, so I mean, the one thing we don't talk about, well, let's just not to get into it, but like Left 4 Dead 2 really was if we wanted the franchise to continue, we needed to rebuild some really base technology underneath that was just yep. the version of the Source Engine that we'd used for Left 4 Dead 1 was just not able to do. Mm -hmm. And so that was like, okay, if we're going to do that, why don't we do these other things? And then we just went dark kind of, though we had playtesters come in, it wasn't the same kind of idea, right? Yeah. I'm talking like from a fan's perspective, it's it's complete darkness versus absolute open communication. It really does seem like a night and day scenario. Um, yeah, but you know, I think that's both when we, when I learned a lot when we brought in CSGO pros the first time and then realized some of the pros felt left out. So we started just going to visit. I just go to events and talk with pros and you would learn so much about the game in a way that you don't need to know how to play it to listen to them to play mm -hmm. it, right? Mm -hmm. And so that was a good learning experience about engaging the community that way. I mean, TF2, definitely, we did a lot of that and got Please a lot of the memes already. and the jokes there. I mean, if you remember the leaked trailer video and then we put up on the big board, one of the bad <laughs> things that could happen is leaked trailer video, right? Yeah. Like, it's doing that kind of wraparound. That was always fun and I always loved doing that at, at, at Valve. And so we're just really kind of taking that all the way through. Dope. Well, we're coming up on the end of the time that you were giving me here, so um, I think this is probably a good place to call it for tonight. Um, yep. There's a lot of, I wouldn't say a lot, but there's a couple of Anacrusis uh, videos that I have in production right now uh, that uh, Will and Chet are going to help me out on a little bit here and there. Uh, this all comes out, what, the 16th or the 13th? 13th. 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 Um, it's a week from today. Uh, this game is out on uh, early access all over the place for like 26 bucks. Yeah, make Vicker love you, G. One week from today. Thank you very much, Jess Kohai, for the uh, four months. And it's also going to be out on Game Pass on consoles uh, and PC. And it's cross-play on anything that it's on. This game is really friggin' fun. It's uh, very chaotic and hectic. Uh, but you can get very good at it. And there are a lot of tools and... Go check out the Stray Bombay Discord server if you want to kind of be a part of this community because I know Chet streams uh, at least once a week playing with the community. Um, there was a time where it was two times a week. Is it once or twice nowadays? Once it's or twice. So we do we, we do co-op one day and we do mods the other. And the other thing is um, wishlist the game is we do um, developer blog posts where we actually go behind the scenes and talk about like some of the choices and how we did it. We actually talked about funding this week. Yep. And how I don't think a lot of people think about this, but fund how you fund your company will make decisions on how you ship your game and what you ship. Absolutely. And so we had known from early on that this is what we wanted to do. I really wanted to do experiments of like how little can like how much can you change based on community feedback? And so then it becomes like, you know, what can come out? I was talking with Amy Henning about this and she's like, you should just ship one episode to start. Just do one episode at a time. Let's go crazy. I'm like, oh, man. I don't know if the community will be up for that. I think we need to give them a little bit more. Yeah. So we're kind of splitting the difference there. But, yeah, it's just really wanting to get it into people's hands and feedback and going. So we're going to end it there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Obviously, Will's got to do his own outro, but I'm going to do mine first if that's yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, no, go for it, Tyler. I'm going to sign off. Uh, thanks for playing, man. And um, I'm going to shout you out so everybody comes and checks out your channel. Cause awesome. It's really fun for you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And, and here's guys. Hi, Tyler, I will I will talk to you later as well, man. And say hi to your mom. Uh, and stay safe in Ohio as it's going it, crazy. Chad. That is brutal. Yeah. Wait. I said say hi to his mom. That, I mean, like, without, talk. without context, talk that sounds woman. awful. But they are friends, so it's whatever. Yes, that's yeah. true. It's true. Uh, true. She's, true. A, she's a very nice woman, yeah. and she has to put up with Tyler. So, yeah. dear God, do I feel <laughs> that woman. Oh. All okay. right, everybody. I'll see you guys oh, tomorrow. Right. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, bye, Dorian. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, Tyler. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow with a Cyberpunk Mythbusters episode. Uh, there's going to be a Beginner's Guide to the Anacrusis and a History of the Anacrusis Development. Both of them I'm making in conjunction with Stray Bombay, Chet Falasak, Will Smith. Um, and thank you. We also have a whole bunch of um, other stuff, a bunch of VR stuff that I've been working on that I've been holding back on because of 
uh, well, I didn't feel like hooking the VR setup up. I just didn't feel like playing VR. Um, I am 97% through Red Dead Redemption 2. I just need to do a few more challenges in the Legendary Fish, and that is a 100% save file on that. So, uh, modding uh, a mod list for RDR2 for your second playthrough um, is going to be in development, as well as um, what I would like from Red Dead Redemption 2 Expanded and enhanced. Uh, I'm currently playing GTA 5 100%, and then I'll be going Red Dead 1, and then GTA 4 and its uh, episodes, and then GTA San Andreas, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just slowly getting through all of Rockstar's games so that I can eventually make the future of Rockstar, which we'll talk about Bully 2, Red Dead 1's remake, GTA 6, and a few other side projects. Um, as for Valve, Citadel is likely to be announced this year. The Steam Deck is coming out this year. There's a lot of stuff going on with that. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we had a good stream today. I hope you guys have a good night. I am off to just play some video games and chill for the rest of the evening. Uh, this VOD should be up on the second channel and an edited down version of that VOD will be up on the first channel tomorrow. I love you guys. Peace and hair grease. I'm Tyler McVicker, the passionate gamer. Check out my merch on Crowdmade. Check out my YouTube channel and follow the Twitter. I love you guys. Have a good night. Adios.